Step 1. Define the model logic. This step requires only Excel tools, not at risk. You must first develop the logic of the model as usual using Excel formulas. This has already been done for you in the model available under examples, define model logic. This model is the starting point for the at-risk analysis in the getting started videos. The buttons on the left allow you to navigate between the descriptions of inputs, calculations, and outputs. This model evaluates the total cost, total revenue, and profit for a car dealer. It takes into consideration the demand, supply, and unit cost of each vehicle type. It also takes into consideration the possible risk of an increase to the franchise fee. In this model, two types of cars are ordered to then sell before the end of the financial year. Inputs include the unit cost, sales price, purchased units and the demand for each model. Any car not sold will need to be discounted to ensure they are sold. The annual franchise fee could increase this year, adding an additional cost to our bottom line. The calculations contain typical Excel formulas and present nothing new. As you can imagine, there exists considerable uncertainty about the demand and unit costs for each of the vehicle types. There is also some uncertainty in the discount that will need to be applied to cars not sold. On top of that there is the impact of the possible increase on franchise fee to take into consideration. We will use at risk to add these uncertainties into the model and analyze the range of possible outcomes. With at risk, you will also be able to uncover which of the uncertain inputs contributes most to the outputs. This information then might help you choose a more profitable strategy. Now it's your turn. Stop this video and then take a few moments to navigate through the buttons on the left and understand the logic of the model.